guys, I am in Guadeloupe. I got here yesterday, but I did not vlog. Guys, that is so Kemli is in Guadeloupe. In Guadeloupe. Yeah, period. And my babies came to pick me up. Listen, <laughs> the way depression just left my body. Listen, if I was worried about you, I'm not anymore. Because I'm, I'm in Guadeloupe. <laughs> Yesterday I did not want to vlog, I was tired, I just wanted to really enjoy the moment without, you know, creating content. I really just wanted to take that one day. But now we are going to um, a mu museum called Me Act Memorial? Memorial, Memorial Act. Act. Memorial Act. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take you guys along with me and yes, let's go. to use our phones so that's why I am using my phone to film so it's basically a contemporary museum offering historical exhibits on the Caribbean slave trade and indigenous people it it's such a beautiful museum like I am not even a museum girl but this museum inspired me to go to museums more it was definitely a bittersweet experience for me bitter because it's black history so of course it's um it's a lot of pain and sweet because it's a beautiful uh, museum if you are going to Guadalupe I definitely recommend it I wish I took more videos and better videos of the museum so you guys can see how nice it is but now you know if you go to Guadalupe your girl recommends this museum okay Oh, and the garden was so cute. This is all part of the museum. I feel like the video do doesn't do it justice, but the garden is mwah. A drop of alcohol since January but since I'm on vacation I said you know what let me just let me just do me so I'm having this piña colada now I am with my friend Jurika I'm actually staying at her place and we are going to shop for a dress because she has a wedding on Saturday so we are at the biggest mall of Guadeloupe apparently Let me give you guys a little outfit of the day. So I'm wearing this dress from Zara. I thrifted this bag and the shoes, I mean the sandals are from Spring. And uh, the beauty is from God. So. Ton pas? Je comprends pas. Je ne comprends pas. I love it. Attends, est-ce que c'est la bouteille? Moi j'aime bien. She is giving body body yadi. So first dress that Jorka is trying on, and I think I like it. Je vois le devant. Yeah, it's giving body. Mm -hmm. So this is the second dress, and it's a smaller size. And I think I like this one better. It fits her better, I find. Mm -hmm. Turn around. Giving period. That's my friend, y'all. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>
eating. She got chicken and I got fish. Okay guys, so you guys didn't work, so we're going for ice cream. because we could not find a place to sit down they were all taken so we're just eating in the car on the beach <laughs> so Svarina's father took these videos with his drone the quality is not really good because he sent the videos to Svarina and then she sent them to me it would have been better if they were airdropped to me directly but he had already deleted the videos once they were sent to Svarina so yeah don't mind the quality Varina was born and raised in Guadeloupe or Guadeloupe. <laughs> I know that Anglophones say Guadeloupe, but I am Francophone, so I say Guadeloupe. Anyway, so she was telling me that this beach was beautiful before, but sargassum seaweed is taking over the beach, so that's why it's looking the way it's looking right now. Guys, look what I found. This is so freaking cute. So now I am at Joyka's place. Zvarina left with her family. So I drove back here alone. Right now I am alone because Jolika is at work. At first I wanted to go explore by myself, but I am so tired. You know when you're visiting a new country, you kind of have the pressure to do something every day because because you feel like you have to explore. I, I'm, the, I'm that type of traveler. But when you're on a trip, it's okay to have a day where, where you're just chilling and I think that's what I'm going to do I'm, I'm going to take a nap uh, eat I still have some food left from yesterday so mm. Mm. yeah
what's up guys so today we are going to marché des épices with joica and later she's going to the wedding so the plan for today is marché des épices and then i am going to a restaurant by myself i've never been to a restaurant alone so i always wanted to do that so this is my time to shine so i'm gonna go to a restaurant that my teacher uh, recommended and uh, later i'm gonna go to the movies by myself first time also and i am going to watch barbie and show you guys my outfit and everything when I'm done. Let's go. So this is what I was going for at first, but I didn't really like the bag, like it wasn't giving. So I decided to change for my black bag. And let me show you. Yeah, this is way better. It's cuter. I just, I don't know, I liked it better with this bag. Oh uh, yeah, I'm looking so good. Guys, we made it, so I'm about to go. I'm a bit nervous, I'm not gonna lie. I am nervous, but I drove all the way here not to chicken out, so I'm gonna go. <sighs> Y'all, it's closed. She said, oh, you know that at night everything is closed, right? But it's not nine, it's eight, 11. But then again, I saw like people coming in and coming right out. So maybe it is closed, but it's not nine. So, ciao. Okay, so I am obviously in Montreal right now, but let me tell you what happened that day real quick, okay? So when I picked the first outfit with the green bag, I had already put everything in the green bag. So my wallet, hand lotion, etc. But when I changed bags, I forgot to take my wallet. So I get to the movies, waiting in line. When it's time for me to pay, I'm looking in my bag and then I realize, shoot, I forgot my wallet in the green bag. And so I am so embarrassed, you guys. Like, I couldn't feel my legs. There were mad people in line behind me. Thank God the cashier gave me the ticket for free. When I tell you I was embarrassed, thank God the restaurant was closed because imagine I'm done eating, it's time to pay, and I literally have nothing on me. I didn't have my driver's license, I didn't have my cards, I didn't have, I had no money on me, I had nothing on me. I literally just had me and the Holy Spirit. I really enjoyed my little solo date. I plan on going on more solo dates and I actually liked the, the movie. A lot of people didn't like it, but to be honest, I did not expect much from Barbie. I mean, to me it's like just a little feel good movie. So I liked it. on 
an island called the Saint and we spend the whole day there. It's such a small island that you're able to visit the whole thing by driving a golf cart and that's what we did. It was oh so beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So we talked to this man and he was like, you guys have to go to the fort, you have to visit it, it's so nice. So we drove all the way there and it was nice. There was a museum in there, we visited quickly and then we were out of there, <laughs> okay? It was such a hot day so we had to stop to get some water and then we went to this cute little restaurant by the beach it is so cute baby blue is one of my favorite colors so it it was so dreamy i was so happy to be alive y'all the food was good it was healthy and yeah we had a good time after that we went swimming the water is clear the water felt so good oh i didn't want that day to end honestly that day was definitely uh one of the highlights of my trip if i'm being honest i saw my dream house okay cute little red house by the beach god i am not asking for much i am not asking for much When we got back from Lesson, Joyka's cousin went and picked some kinep for me and he brought me a whole bag. All my Caribbean people, if you know, you know. When I tell you this man is doing the Lord's work, I wish him everything good in this life and the next. Like, God bless his soul. <music> Listen, I was feeling myself way too much, okay? Guys, I couldn't film us actually canoeing because it was just the two of us and we were literally in the middle of the sea. So after that, we went to join Svanina's family at a beach in Port Saint Louis. I had so much fun with her family. It was such a good time. I had great conversations with them and it was so cute. We tried to make a heart. It was so cute, you guys. Listen, Svanina's family, great people. I had such a good time. Later, Joyka met with us after work so we could grab something to eat for dinner. So fun, well not so fun fact about me, I have an extreme fear of animals and there was a cat near me while I was waiting for my food and you guys, I was freaking out. <laughs> So we saw some people that were parking behind us and I think that they are going the same way as us. So we're we're kind of like waiting for them to see if we can actually do this. Like we don't we don't know the way, so we don't want to do anything crazy. Listen, I want to say I'm scared, but I don't want to be scared anymore because I am a child of God. God did not put a spirit of fear in me. Maybe you can't really see on camera what I'm seeing right now, but it is pretty deep. Ali, si tu te tournes, tu n'auras plus peur, tu verras pas le vide. Ça va, ça va, ça va. Mais là, t'es arrivé. Voilà. Oh, tu l'as fait. Oh. oh my God. Guys, we made it. I was super scared, but 
these super nice people helped us. Hello. Hello. And I'm going to show you guys the view. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Look at this, y'all. Look. Oh, my God. Guys, we did not bring appropriate shoes. I'm in the water with my sneakers. Okay? And I don't regret it because it's like, if I die tomorrow, they're just shoes. I'll buy new ones. My booty better be on top of my shoulders after this because this was a whole lower body workout. Okay, I am out of breath. Look at us. After hiking, we went to this beach called Grandance. It's Vanina's favorite beach. She really wanted to show me, and indeed, it is beautiful. We were so hungry and so tired, and there was a food truck, so we stopped to get some delicious bukit. After eating, we just relaxed in the water. Y'all, we were so tired from hiking and it was, I was very tired from hiking, so I just relaxed. So we're going to uh, a river. Cascade aux Ecrevis. That's what it's called. I think their specialty is seafood, so um, I can't wait to eat. We are going out to eat with the girls, so it's going to be me, Zanina, Jorika, and her cousin. This is my outfit for tonight. It's giving, it's giving. Ah, 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 ah. Guys, we are in the um, Allée du Manoir. We came here only to take pictures and videos, literally. But let me show you guys what I'm wearing today. Hold on. I think, oh, there's a car. Hold on. All right, so here's my little outfit of the day. This is what your girl is wearing. We're gonna go to the mall to buy some souvenirs because my mom has been Stressing me out. Oh, I need. How you need to to apporte des souvenirs de la gando girl by. And then we're going to eat. We haven't even eaten yet, but yeah. So this is the plan for today. So we met with Jorika at this restaurant called Tabla Pizza. I forgot to vlog when we were all together and everything, but this was the restaurant. It is super cute, and we all ordered pizza. Later, we went to Zvalina's aunt's retour de mariage. I don't know how to say that in English, but it's basically the newlyweds. They throw a party for the guests to have fun with them, to thank them. I obviously was not a guest, but they did invite me to the retour de mariage. And Zvalina's aunt was like, why didn't you invite your friend to the wedding? But Zvalina did not know she could bring a plus one. And I was not going to go somewhere I'm not invited. Like, especially not a wedding. It's so weird. But I had such a good time with them. The food was amazing. We had fun. We stayed there until 3 a.m. So it was perfect for my last day in Guadeloupe. Cabin group, please prepare doors for departure and cross check. Thank you. Wait, 